Welcome back, everyone. She is a television host and a comedian on the new show, Dating, hashtag no filter, and it's a funny show. And today she <laughs> is here to share her very favorite game day yeah. recipe. It is turkey queso dip. Welcome to our home, Nina Parker. Oh, thank you for having me. Worked with Nina on some yes, 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 years, yes, yes. you know, all the entertainment reporting. I would say, Larissa, dig in, but since you've already. Oh. Got <laughs> Joining really Cameron and I Ken and Paige, you guys. Oh, you guys are one. Good. Well, this, you know, I always say I'm not a chef, but what I'm a food doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. Because I, I don't know how to cook very well, but I could put some stuff together <laughs> from the kitchen that that tastes good. That's You're like a home DIY. Exactly. Yeah. Put it together. Oh, exactly. I could make it work. And you have made this work throughout the years, and you've made variations on it. But you say this is a perfect recipe for this yes. weekend for all the bowls. It's it's a good recipe for this or a rainy day, mm -hmm. you know, or just something where it takes 15 minutes. You can feed the whole family, and you can use the leftovers as well. To it's a dip, but you can also use it to make a quesadilla. Oh, you can nice. kind of use it for other things, and it's so good and super fast to make. And it's so popular that every time you come to someone's house, they Child, don't want you to come in the door you unless you have your queso. <laughs> it's, I don't even get the invite. It's like, can you bring the queso dip? Thank you. We'll see you then. So, I don't even, people don't even want me. They just want me to drop off the dip and go. They don't want your queso, <laughs> All right, so it starts with All some right. ground turkey, So you right? just ground, you just get some the brown, ground, you brown the ground turkey. Okay. I like to coat it with a little olive oil and put a little garlic just to kind of get it started. Okay. And then, really, you just add your seasoning. So you kind of want to make sure that meat is seasoned. Sure. So what Which I like to important. do is I add a little seasoned salt. Okay. You know, you just put it in the meat. Any kind of seasoned salt you like? Yeah, any kind. Your favorite seasoned salt, but put some season, not just salt and pepper. Okay, exactly. Okay. Because, then, you know, you turkey know, can be kind of boring. You know, black mamas don't play that. You know, so my mom was like, you put a little bit more season up in that thing <laughs> than some salt and pepper. So we put a little bit of the Himalayan sea salt. Okay. And I also put a little garlic salt in there. Nice. And it's all going to come together because I always feel like the ground turkey doesn't have as much flavor mm -hmm. as, like, the hamburger, but it's a healthier option. But so you, you could gotta, use ground beef if you, you want You could use ground beef. You could even use ground turkey or even chopped up chicken if you'd like. Okay. Just, you know, you have to just adjust it. Okay. And then I put a little bit of pepper in there too just to kind of balance it out. Okay. And then I just kind of let it season the meat. Try. It cooks super fast. Yeah, turkey does for sure. It cooks You're super fast, so it's already pretty brown. All right. And then from this, I put in the cheese. Okay. So before, oh, the yes, before the onions? I even put in the onions, yes. We I haven't even gone to the cheese bag. No, because no. I, I like the onions to have a little crunch to okay. it in the dip, so I don't want it too uh, grilled. Mushy, uh, right. Exactly, because then it gets too mushy. Got it. So then you put the cheese in. What kind of cheese is it? Now you can, this is queso. Now you can get your favorite queso okay. from the store, mm. whatever you like, whatever no, your no, no. favorite queso. Does queso already come liquid? Is that the way yes. it comes? Yes, oh, yes. Okay. So queso is already liquid. Okay. So you buy your favorite brand. They have a plenty in the store, which the mild, the whichever one you like the best. Mm -hmm. I tend to buy the kind that already have a few chopped up vegetables in it, maybe yeah. a few jalapenos, depending on how like how makes you seem more fancy. Spicy. Well, right. yeah, exactly. you know. it looks like you put chopped up yeah. more vegetables than you actually did. Like I said, I'm a food doctor. <laughs> oh, I'm not God. chopping up all these vegetables. I'm child. So then, oh, Nina. then I put in a little onion after I've put the cheese in. Okay. And then you add your own cheese. Now I kind of stole this recipe from a friend of mine from a game night. And I kind of made it my own. So she didn't add the cheese, the shredded cheese. So you're not giving her any credit? This no, 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 no. We don't, we don't recognize her. Um, <laughs> we just come oh in God. and, you know, you, you was, make it your own. It's your dip. That's funny. <laughs> it's your dip. Exactly it's your right. dip. So this was cheddar and that was mozzarella. That was cheddar and that was mozzarella. And then I kind of put the queso to the side and I kind of get it all nice and gooey and I add some salsa. Okay, which is interesting. Did your oh. friend add salsa? She added salsa, but I like the Southwest salsa <laughs> because it has black beans and corn in it. And and I like the, the black bean. It gives you like a little Southwest right. type of Tex-Mex flavor with it. Which makes sense why the next day you could make this into quesadilla. Exactly. Because and it's, it's like everything in a quesadilla. Uh, right. And it's a dip, but it's not a super gooey dip. So it's very it's very textured. So you mm. still get, it's very hearty. And then I add a little more cheese on you the top. Put that queso so go, on Yeah, girl. Room. As much yeah. as you like, really there it's up to you. Go. Okay, how about this? How about the next day you, you put a little of this into an omelet? Can you make an omelet out of this? Oh, yeah. oh, oh right? see, right? now you're making this your own. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now it's, now, it's, now it's your you listen, listen, I've been in the kitchen a few times. Enough. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. You could make this into a soup because it's, you it can. is so uh, good. I would it's just so good. It. And then you just kind of do it to taste. Now, my key ingredient that I love to put on the top is the tahine. Now, this is a Mexican tahine. seasoning. It has oh, lime. Yes. It has salt. I got the lime. I a lot of people use this in their micheladas. Yes. 
Wait, it's called, it's T-A-J-I-N. Yes. It's oh, a tiny G-I-N. little yeah. bottle like and that. And this is my key ingredient oh. because really a lot of people use it on the rim for things, but it just gives a nice little kick, but it's not spicy. I got it in there and I was wondering mm-hmm. if it was coming, what was coming from. Because from, uh, I'm a little spicy wimp. So I can't do too much, but I love a flavor. I need a flavor. I need you to kick me when I'm okay. eating a dish. Let me oh tell you something. <laughs> Nina, you kick got me. enough. You have enough spice in your personality to <laughs> eat in your food, my friend. But I love with every it. bite you get something else. Yes. You get a mm-hmm. taste of a little something else. You get a little something it. with it, and it's filling, mm-hmm. and it's definitely like one of those range. Like we're already done, and then you top it with whatever you want. So. Like, I don't really like a lot of toppings, but my boyfriend loves to kind of make it a whole dish. So I so pour it into the bowl. All right. You guys, this is the first time I've ever cooked on TV. Well, you're doing really? my job. Oh. Yes. Oh. yes. Oh. I am. yes. Great it's job. It's easy to talk and cook Nina, at the same you're, time. You guys are setting a standard at home that I'm not going to be able to fulfill. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't get no ideas, honey, because this ain't happening every night. Now, <laughs> while you're finishing up there, Nina, I want to make sure we get a chance to talk about uh, dating hashtag uh, no filter. Yes. Uh, I know that you just started a, a month or so ago. Right. But it's taught you, in your own words, to right. not judge a book by its cover. Tell us why. Well, listen, this is a really fun dating show. Dating No Filter really was just something for me that was really exciting because as I've worked with Debbie, we've worked together, yep. and I've really done entertainment news. And this was the first position that I had where it was like, come in, we're not talking about celebrities. These are regular yep. people, and we're just going to watch these crazy dates and comment on them and just have a good time. Oh, you guys remember the days 10, 10, 15 years ago when all those dating shows oh, were yeah. on? Oh, yeah. We love that, yes. and it kind of uh-huh. went away. So this is a resurgence of that with the addition of social media. So we look at their Instagram pages. We talk about the dates. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And a lot of these people come on and you think they're models or and they're really financial experts. Or you think that they're a little crazy. Some girl didn't have her eyebrows. She was just kind of like wearing different types of I wigs. Mean. And you think she's going to be weird. And she was one of the most sane people that we've had on the show. So you really oh, learn that yes. it really is personality Listen, driven, up. not looks I'll driven. I'll tell you Listen. what. I've always said there's nothing more interesting than regular folk. Yeah. 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 Celebrities. Crazy. And let me say, Nina's perfect for this job. And you're perfect to make this well, decision. No. Oh, yeah. 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 Have a little yeah. taste. Yeah. Don't miss Nina on dating. <laughs> Hashtag no filter this. Monday yeah. through Come Thursday here. at 10.30 p.m. And for this recipe, you know where to go. Our website, hallmarkchannel.com.